Hello, everyone. My name is Emmanuel. Did you ever imagine a future where all diseases are curable, even those which affect even vital organs, and future where we are able to replace these organs without taking another organ from the donor, just creating, in, creating it in our laboratory? Imagine a future where scientists are not using laboratory animals in scientific experiments. I will say that future starts here. Let me tell you a little story about me. Uh, I was a kid and I used to uh, watch many sci-fi uh, movies and scientific TV shows with my father and I was inspired by an idea from the uh, movie uh, pr uh, produced by uh, Luc Besson, it's called uh, Fifth Element. And uh, one uh, part that uh, robotic hands were recreating uh, main characters, Lilus, li li in a special incubator. And this idea uh, doesn't left me, and I started to uh, think, what if we can create a mold, organ mold, and place their uh, stem cells after it will develop to an, a fully functional organ. But wait, now it's real, and this emerging technology is called 3D bioprinting. 3D bioprinting technology is a combination of two major uh, scientific fields, tissue engineering and 3D printing. But how does it work? A printhead is moving in 3D uh, dimension and creating 3D structure. Ordinary 3D printers are using different types of materials from plastic to clay, but bioprinters are using special materials called bio-inks that contain cells and biocompatible materials. These materials uh, can be different types depending on the tissues that we are going to produce. And these uh, biocompatible materials are similar to the extracellular matrix of the original tissue. And uh, this Bioprinted tissues and organs have an advantage uh, over the organs obtained from the donors. This is the absence of a re rejection reaction. So it will uh, not reject it by the uh, living body. And uh, because it's uh, bioprinting, use uh, own cells of the patient. Um, and did you know that how many people, how many lives we will be able to save when we will develop this technology? You know, more than 130,000 people are in national waiting lists for organ transplantation of the United States. And more than 7,000 people are dying each year waiting for an organ transplant. And these numbers were taken from US healthcare statistics, the country where healthcare, science, and technology are on their highest level. And just imagine how many people have similar problem in the other parts of the world where the healthcare system is poorly developed and the quality of life is low. Um, also, we need to spread this technology and to include more and more new scientists to develop this technology. Uh, and you know, scientists now are able to print different types of tissues, just like blood vessels, eye cornea, heart tissue, or liver tissue, and etc. And did you know the first reaction of people that when they are hearing about 3D printing, they are uh, asking a question. Could you print a human? And uh, did you know the difference between boys and girls 
that uh, they ask to print. Uh, girls are asking to print beautiful ears or noses, and what asked boys? <laughs> uh, they ask to print liver uh, because they want to uh, use more alcohol and don't mind if their liver will be destroyed. Unfortunately, this technology uh, is not as easy as many people think. Uh, every year we have more and more new publications from the scientists about 3D bioprinting. But uh, this technology is not freely available for every scientist in the world due to its high cost and complexity. So me and my colleagues decided to change this and uh, create affordable and high quality bioprinters to make this technology available for all scientists from all countries and give them opportunity to master this technology. We believe that uh, if we develop this technology and include more scientists, it will give more inventions in this field. New technologies, new opportunities. And uh, global uh, scientific community needs to uh, overcome some challenges about bioprinted tissues. The first one is the viability of the tissue construct, and the second one is the vascularization. It's mean blood supply to the tissue. And bioprinted tissues and organs also need to be used in preclinical and clinical research in order to be approved for patient use. Uh, even world-class organizations like NASA trying to encourage scientists who are working in this field, they announce a grant for $500,000 uh, for the scientific teams that are going to create vascularized tissue, which will be able to live more than 30 days outside the body. And there are other applications for bioprinting. Uh, one of these promising applications is substitution laboratory animals from scientific experiments. How is it possible? Now it's possible to conduct drug testing and cosmetic testing directly on human tissue printed by this technology, directly on Petri dish. And this will make scientific research more ethically relevant and more humane. And we believe that development of bioprinting will transform um, drug testing and um, all pharmacological, all cosmetic business, and the process has already started. Bioprinting technology can help to find a treatment for a cancer. How? It's possible to recreate pathological processes using st uh, cancer cells from cancer tissues. And afterward, it's possible to test new approaches, new techniques and methods on cancer models created uh, by 3D bioprinting. As we discuss, uh, bioprinting technology is the result of merging two major um, technologies. But it's also possible to merge bioprinting itself to another multidisciplinary um, scientific field, just like creation of bionic organs. Last year, uh, while preparing for another presentation about bioprinting, I have read an article about creation of um, bionic ear. It was a 3D bioprinted ear with special radio device, which will give opportunity to hear uh, even the lowest frequencies, or radio frequencies, sorry. And this is one more evidence that humanity is discovering their 
bodies and their minds and realize that human opportunities have no limits. We need to include and integrate more and more people in the global development of science and technology. Our aim is to foster decentralization and breaking the borders of science. I am sure that bioprinted tissues and organs are the future of the medicine. So, let's print the future together. Thank you very much.